the newcomer now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've been talking about him all afternoon. Uh, he's my flatmate for the week. I tell you what, it's the longest week in Christendom. Could you please welcome the one and only Steve Plater? Ah, oh, come on now, let's not get mistake. Steve Plater, come on, come on. <coughs> now, I just... hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, who's got the best legs? Wait a minute. <laughs> I hear. I'm going to tell you, see, you're going to pick an argument, be sure you've always won it. Look at the cut of those there. Like, look at them. Hey, what are they? You couldn't get any whiter than those, could you? Hey, listen to me. This is a family show. Get the finger down, good kid. Don't you put the finger up on me, all right, Peter? This, is, get this is a family show. That's all. <laughs> that's why I only show the outside. I'll let, I let you into a secret. We domestic Peter here this morning gets up and he goes, all right, mate. That's, I, if you'd if take it out of us for Calvary, you'd never be able to talk again. All right, mate. Uh, where's the washing machine? I'm going to say, there's it there. How do you work it? <laughs> well, you open it because he had all his wee smalls to get in the gut. And then he came along with this blue liquid and said to me and Lawrence, where do you put that? To which I could have given an answer. But I said, maybe you just pour it in there. And then what you do, he does this and he hits start. And he's, he's like, it's here at the washing machine. Until one of us said, turn it on. <laughs> and then he turned it on and went, he says, there you are, I'm an expert. Isn't that right, correct, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I have to admit it. Yeah. <laughs> However, if you keep, uh, if you look at my socials, you'll see a lovely little clip later on of uh, Logie trying to park his JKC BMW earlier outside a cafe. Oh, you're a jacket. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. To be son. honest, I should have bought my mother over. She'd have done a much better job. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a, hey, as I say, around the gang, she's a big yoke. That's <laughs> all I can say. <laughs> she's a bit of all right. Tell you that. Come here. I was talking to a lot of the newcomers, and they were. Joking, joking aside, they were very, they were full of praise uh, of yourself because it, it's so important for you, your role, to impart your knowledge and tell them what to do, and maybe more importantly, what not to do whenever they're coming here for the first time. Yeah, massive. You know, it's my job really is not just to show them around the course. I'm lucky enough to get to do some laps, take them around, they have to go nice and steady and build them up. But it's more the case of just making sure you know they're enjoying the social side and. And, and making sure they're nice and relaxed in the pad and to keep them safe when they're going out on the course. Because obviously we want these guys back year in, year out to compete, just so they end up being like your John McGuinnesses and your Peter Hickmans, all the bigger names here, you know, and hopefully on the pace and putting a good show on for everybody to come and watch race. I was going to say to you too, I know that uh, you have done an awful lot. The old, the old winner's attitude hasn't left you because you did a lap with uh, Johnny Ray, and you really put him off the road. He said to me after, he says, that's some bollocks blader. I tell you, he really put, me, he really put me over the edge. Isn't that right? And then you get off the bike, you looked at him, you went over and you went, beat the again, Johnny, eh? <laughs> I said, Johnny, I said, we're getting up on the podium next, Johnny, because I won. <laughs> here, look, you're coming here a long time, and I keep asking the same question about the Northwest, and then, it's a special sport. Look at these fans. The people are standing out here for an hour and a half, listening to all the uh, all the riders, and look at the the affection that people have and the courtesy they have for the sport. It's incredible, isn't it? It's magic. It really is. You know, I know. You know, good weather always brings the best out in people. But even this place, even when it rains, everybody's friendly, and, and uh, it's really easy to come and do the job and to work. It really is. You know, and. Uh, Probably the only negative is my roommate, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> no, seriously, it really is. It's, uh, it's a good crack, and I think we all, we've all said the same, you know, if it was coming here for the ways, you wouldn't bother. It's just the social side, as well as everybody being so friendly and so relaxed. It really is well worth a visit every year. And I tell you what, we're staying in a lovely place, actually, just uh, out the Prospect Road in Port Stewart, and I've got the best room, but then, there you go. Anyway, no, right, don't even possess here first, because we were in another place last year, and that wee bollocks took the best room. <laughs> and he has about four t-shirts, that's all he had, and I had all these clothes for doing marquee stuff, and he's sitting up and then, oh, don't talk to me. Anyway, look, what do you hope for tomorrow? Is, uh, is Glenn the fellow to be, to see the man, is he the front runner? Yeah, of course, you know, nine wins now, he's on a roll, he's riding, Glenn's riding really, really well, British Championship as well as, as well as here, you know, and uh, 
he's got a good race craft. Obviously, Todd is, Todd is the young up-and-coming guy. He's my boy, obviously, at BSB with the Taz team and doing a fantastic job. And Glenn's got to keep his guard up, obviously. Toddy wants to win. He's desperate to win on the big bikes. But uh, it, I think that's where the biggest battle is going to be for, for the win, for sure. Um, I've, uh, I've got Toddy at the moment, say so I've got him. I've sent him off down to Belfast. He's had a, an x-ray on his hand from his crash where he got taken out in the Supersport yesterday. The x-rays are really good, so he's looking all right. He's having a scan now as we speak, uh, just to make sure everything's tipped up and good uh, to keep him fit. So hopefully he'll be, uh, he said he's feeling much better today. Not quite so bad, so uh, he's well up for a fight tomorrow. So uh, hopefully Glenn's got his guard up. And to be honest, I hope we get a really good race and some sunshine so we can all enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, you know this, the North West 200 works as a big team. There's so many elements to the team and it simply wouldn't work if that man wasn't contributing what he contributes to the International Northwest 200. He's a mate, but he's also professional to a fault, looks after our newcomers, and does an awful lot more, the one and only Steve Plater. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank you.